Hello, Natasha, how you doing? Thank you very much. Let me just try to see if we can get that. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Okay, we're, we're good right here. So, banana, yes, definitely. Um, you, you look good, you look good. I, I can see your, your mean line. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can see your X height, your, your calf height. I can see your baseline. Good job. Uh, pretty good consistency in the letters. Watch your craft. These have got to be perfect. They really do. I know. I, I mean, I know you just worked your butt off on this and your fingers probably still hurt. But moving forward, remember, this is craft. It's all about craft. It's got, these have got to be perfect. Um, and these, believe it or not, sketching these out perfectly is, is actually reinforcing inside of your head how these letter forms work, how they're constructed, how their shapes interact with each other. And this is a phenomenal learning exercise. So what am I looking at here? I'm looking at pretty good consistency, not great. Okay, these have got to be identical. All right. Uh, as far as kerning goes, I think right now the biggest problem I'm seeing is that all of your letters are too far apart. So we, typically what we have are different subgroups in this word. And this B is definitely a subgroup. It seems to be away from the other letters. All right. All of the letters are, I think they're too far apart. First, first thing I would do is consider getting these a lot closer. Then start looking at the individual relationships. All right. The space between the A and the N and the A and the N have got to be consistent. Likewise, the space between the N and the A, the N and the A have got to be consistent. That leaves you with you ju we just covered all those letter combinations, so that leaves us with the B and the A. Typically, you want to move that B closer to the A. Let me tell you why. Take a look at the relationship here. They're both basically curves. This curve has a, a break in the curve, allowing this negative space to come out. So this large negative space creates this illusion that these letters are farther apart than they really are. So we, 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 can't, we counter that illusion by moving that A closer to the B. Okay, that'll bring the B in with the group. And then the other biggest gap was right there. That's a bit, bit, so that word, Anna, almost looks like a separate group. So that's what you want to do. You don't want any groups. Conversely, you don't want the letters, between the spaces between letters all to be equal. You want some different co compensation for different areas for curves and the such. So what I would suggest is, is go ahead and set this on the computer and watch the computer. You're allowed to use a computer. You're just not allowed to use any measuring devices. Or, um, um, so go ahead and when you do it again and, and turn it on the computer a few times and see what feels comfortable. Then follow what you've learned, trace it again, and we'll see the second submission. Awesome job. Any questions, give me a holler. Thank you.